Friday and welcome back to Amateur Astronomy and Storm Tracing. It's not, <laughs> it's not, me and Lily has got our sights set it on Pleiades, also known as the Seven Sisters. Now I've tried Pleiades a couple times in the past and really I've not had any success with it so far. Uh, my last attempt was by far my best one and uh, even that night I managed to mess some stuff up. It was just a bad night of imaging. <laughs> Uh, polar alignment was off. I wasn't shooting in raw mode. You know the drill. Mistakes were made. <laughs> but uh, tonight, I've double and triple checked everything. And right now, I'm just waiting on Pleiades to rise up over the trees. I've already got my polar alignment dialed in. I am shooting in raw mode. So, I'm just gonna have to wait and see. But I have a really good feeling for tonight. Pleiades, AKA M45, aka the seven sisters is a open star cluster that starts rising in the fall months here in the northern hemisphere pleiades is actually the closest messier object located to earth it can be seen with the naked eye and whenever i was little i used to think of it as the little dipper because to me it, it kind of looks like um ursa major and ursa minor really like it almost looks like a, a little dipper if you will to me and that was one way that I was always able to recognize it in the night sky. One thing that I'm really after tonight while shooting M45 is to really pick up on that uh, beautiful blue nebulosity that's located all around the star cluster. The last time I shot it, I was able to pull out just a little bit of it, but with really poor quality pictures, uh, I just kind of gave up really. But tonight, I'm gonna attempt to get a lot of time on this target. I do have a... Uh, about a 36% waxing moon but it is currently it's close to setting right now in the west so that shouldn't interfere too much uh, like I said Pleiades is still rising right now I've got the scope tracking it I'm just waiting for it to come above the trees and get started on it Okay, finally got the rig up and running now. I'm going at uh, three minute subs once again. It seems like my tracking is once again really, really good tonight. So fingers crossed that continues to be the case. Uh, three minute subs at 1600 ISO. I believe that's exactly what I shot Andromeda at here a couple weeks ago. Uh, looking at a few frames so far, they look awesome. They look really, really good. And you can actually start to pick up on some of the little striations and stuff in the nebulosity around Pleiades. So I'm really excited to see how these come out. Looking at the cloud cover radar, it doesn't seem like it, there's nothing around whatsoever. I should be good at least for probably a good three hours at the bare minimum. Yeah, I'm really excited to start uh, editing on Pleiades. It's, I think I'm honestly more excited about it than I am Andromeda. Uh, I've been really excited to get back to Pleiades. And uh, so fingers crossed, things continue to look as good as they are so far. So, I said, I'm going to go in now, let the rig do its thing, and just hope for the best. I'm now about uh, just over the halfway mark through my light frames right now. I went and looked at some more of them. Everything's still looking really, really, really good. Uh, something about Pleiades, I'm just so, so excited about it tonight. I think because it's really like my first real serious shot at a star cluster. The only other star cluster that I've shot, I guess if you could even say that, is uh, M13 or the Great Globular, Globular, Globular. I don't know. You guys know I'm not very good at pronouncing stuff. But uh, M13, the great globular ugh, cluster in Hercules. And I actually shot this through my Dobsonian telescope. So it's like a really, really quick, very, very high noise shot. Um, it's nothing spectacular by no means. And I actually got the, I got this shot not very long after I first bought my Dobsonian. But uh, 
Yeah, I sent it to the iPage one night, and I was like, hey, I wonder if I can get the picture of that. So I tried, and uh, yeah, that's about all I can say about that. It was a try. <laughs> but uh, yeah, about another, I don't know, about another hour here, and I guess I'll go ahead and start on my dark frames. Finally, on some of my light frames here, As you can see you can definitely start to pick up on the some nebulosity, especially right in here. So I'm really excited to see what I'm start to pull out of some of these pictures right here. And just zooming in some, it definitely looks like my tracking was really good. Nice pinpoint stars all around. So I'm really excited to start in on the editing of all these tomorrow. Oh yeah, you can definitely make out, like, like I mentioned earlier, some of the kind of striations there in the nebulosity. Yeah, I think these should work out pretty good. Again, 50 light frames, or just over 50 actually, because I, no, I came out here a couple times and adjusted it. But, uh, at least two and a half hours of data, at the minimum. Hopefully upwards of three. We'll see. But, that's all for tonight. So, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. See you guys in the morning. this picture now probably about the past four days uh, I've worked longer on this picture I think than I have any other one so far and it's definitely paid off big time uh, like I said in my, my last video a couple videos ago I've been trying to work this year a lot on my post processing skills and it's really really starting to pay off now as you see here kind of zooming around on the picture like really zoomed in so it's a pretty noise free background which is something I've really been trying to work towards and uh, unfortunately I am still having a little bit of an issue with a uh, coma up in the corners of my pictures. I've been playing with this uh, fill flattener. I just still haven't found the sweet spot on it yet. So it's pretty apparent to me that one night I just need to go outside, pretty much set it every different way and find out. Just really dial it in and find a really sweet spot for it. But uh, yeah, next clear night, hopefully I'll have some time to work on that. But yeah, just like I said, just zooming in here and just kind of moving around. You can definitely see I pulled out a pretty good deal of nebulosity here around Pleiades, and I'm just, I'm just really, really happy with pit, this picture right here all together, man. It's, it's the pictures like this that make all this definitely worthwhile, and I'm so excited to get out underneath the stars and get some more time on some different targets, especially some targets I've never worked on before, which is something I'm planning on doing pretty heavy this winter. But yeah, that about does it for this one, guys. Uh, like I said earlier, if you haven't yet, please be sure to subscribe down below and hit the notification icon. That way you'll know whenever I do upload. And as always, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy. I just want...